Oh, I hit this. I hate. Can you hold this for me? Mm hmm. Good morning, everyone. It's Phil Wade with Dalton Wade Real Estate Group. I hit the button a little bit early, <laughs> but hey, we're going to get started right now. So thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in and watching uh, on Periscope today. It's Phil and Telsey. She's got the camera. Say hi, Telsey. Hi. All right, here we go. So uh, today, today we're going to uh, you know talk about converting uh, you know converting more internet buyer leads. You know, Dalton Wade's a big believer in, uh, you know, working, uh, you know, internet leads. Um, pretty much say everybody's online uh, looking. Um, you know, there's Zillow, Realtor.com, uh, probably the two top sites. But, you know, when you get that internet lead, what, uh, you know, what do you need to do to, you know, get the most out of it? So the first thing and the most important thing, so let's talk a little bit about the three types of internet buyer leads. So internet buyer lead one, is looking for an agent right now so you know if you call them um, right away you get that lead you call them right away you've got a good shot of doing business with them um, we had an agent who called 20 minutes after the contact came in that person had already found another agent because what happened was uh, they were clicking several agents they just wanted to get into that property whoever got to them first potentially got their business so we call it speed to lead so you got to be speedy you know, with those leads, um, to call them right away. Uh, if they don't answer, leave them a message, text them, uh, email them, and do it a few times. <clears throat> Claren, who's not with us today, she's really done well with the internet leads. She hits on them three days in a row, then she kind of lets them sit there, may contact them again. But um, so that we're looking for that group that converts immediately. The second group, um, which is still a good group, but they take a little bit longer. They're not quite ready right now. Maybe their finances aren't, you know, completely in order. Maybe there's some life event, they're getting married and they're gonna start looking for a house, you know, after their honeymoon, that's two, three months down the road. So, you know, you wanna nurture those people, uh, continue to work with them, keep in touch, um, you know, set them up with the alerts so that they get the properties, you know, every day with, you know, we use the Boomtown system to kind of manage um, all our internet leads. So Boomtown allows for every email that goes out. Um, it's kind of like the MLS My Matrix, but um, it's through Boomtown and it's a much nicer looking uh, HTML branded with your photo uh, email. So you're, you're constantly in front of them. Um, and then in addition to that, um, you know, you can see if they're looking, opening your emails every so often, you do want to send them a personal email and, um, you know, and check in, see how they're doing, um, all with the goal that, you know, you kept in touch, you were there for them, and then when they actually are ready, um, you know, they're going to look to you to be their, to be their real estate agent. So those, those convert a little bit, uh, a little bit longer in the future, and that's now, if, if you don't stay in touch, um, when they are ready, they'll, they'll end up using another agent. So staying in touch and, you know, kind of like how I do my marketing, I'm always out there with emails, I'm always touching the agents, you know, so, um, and it's, it's the same concept where, you know, if you're not there, they forget about you and consequently could go to someone else. Um, so you want to be sending them not just the automated stuff, but, you know, the personal, uh, emails as well to let them know you're, you're thinking about them and if there's anything you can do to, um, you know, to help them. Um, the third group, unfortunately, will never convert into a client. They either can't get qualified, um, you know, they um, are already working with a realtor um, or they're just actually looking and they're never, they're not really a serious buyer. They're from maybe a different part of the country. We get a lot of that here. Um, in the greater Tampa area where people, you know, are searching the properties, but they're physically not located here. So again, their, their timing may be, you know, one, two, three years out. So they're, they're a little bit harder to, to bring in. So, um, you know, but working them in a way that's very systematic, um, you know, devoting an hour each day, um, you know, to sort of your, you know, a lot of the contacts come in at night, you know, after sort of, it would be acceptable to give them a call, call them first thing, you know, look and see did anybody sort of look at, you know, the emails I sent them, um, you know, maybe I need to, you know, send them, um, you know, personalized, you know, 
email checking in. The other thing that's important, um, again, when you're kind of working them, is to, to work them off of a to-do list. Um, again, Boomtown allows um, you to put in like what's your next to-do, what's your next contact, so that you're continually, um, it's all very organized. It's not, you know, haphazard. It's all very systematic about how you go about, you know, doing that. And, and again, if you do that and you are organized and you are systematic and you follow, you know, kind of best practices, what will happen is your conversion rate will go up. I see it with the agents, um, the ones that, you know, use um, the software, um, the client management software to the best of, you know, their abilities and use it correctly, um, do more business. And again, when you're talking about, you know, say you're getting 25 leads a month, you're on the program for a year, that's 300 leads, um, you know, by your efforts and how well you did this, um, you're able to convert, you know, 2% more, that's six deals, uh, average deal 6,000, so that's an additional $36,000. Um, in commissions you generated, so you know it's 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 significant. Um, um, so you know keep keep that in mind, um, and and really again you know what's an acceptable conversion rate, you know typically five percent um, is is kind of you know um, what should be attainable, um, and again that may be over you know time. So not again because of that second group that doesn't convert immediately, um, that may take a little while to build, but. Um, some agents, you know, do close to 10%. So every out of every lead they get, you know, one turns into a transaction. That would be on the high end. So, um, you know, work those leads hard. Um, call them quickly. Um, you know, touch them in the three different ways, through a phone call and a message, through an email and through a text, um, and do that, um, you know, three days in a row. Um, set them up with the alerts, watch what they do, watch their behavior. Again, you know, you might have called them, texted them, email, no response. You might think, oh, it's dead. Well, that's not necessarily true. What it could be telling you is that they're just not ready right now, and because of that, they're not really willing to talk to you. But if you stay in touch with them and then, you know, set them up with the, you know, e-alerts, and then you see their behavior that they're opening them, um, or they may not open them right away, and then a month later they start looking, well, then it tells you, well, now they're actually looking to, you know, potentially engage an agent, um, you know, and, um, you know, throw another call, text, and, and, you know, email into them because maybe the time the time is right. So keeping in touch um, is, is critical. Um, so that's, uh, you know, that's Internet leads. They can be very, very productive, but they do have to be, uh, you know, you do, I mean, again, we'll just chat a little bit further. Nobody's buying a house online. You have to meet these folks, right? You have to have a technique to be able to get them out and meet. That's step one, right? You met them. Now, not everybody that we meet converts into a transaction, but that's step one. And then, you know, typically somewhere around, you know, 60 to 70 percent of the people you meet, um, ultimately will purchase from you. So meeting them, getting them out, setting up that first appointment um, so that they actually, you know, get to know you a little bit better, um, you know, is, is um, you know, is, is how you have to do it. And again, most folks, most buyers, um, they're not buying that first time you take them out. You may be just showing them one or two houses, you're getting to know them, you know, be conscious of that. But the goal then is to take them out again to start working with them. They want, you want them to become your client. It works. Um, definitely some folks are, you know, better at it than others. Um, continue to refine your processes, um, you know, and, and be thinking about it in terms of, okay, if I get, you know, what's 5% conversion, that's one out of, that's one out of 20. Um, so, you know, every 20 leads that come in, you probably need to be taking out two people. Right, and with a, you know, and then one to you know 1.5 of those will convert. Obviously, you're not going to have a half a buyer, but uh, ha ha. But you know, that's that's you know that's kind of the way to be thinking about this. So, as always, I'm available for any questions or you know further discussion offline. I don't know if if there are any questions on Periscope. Alrighty, well, Tulsi, do you have any questions?
Um, not at this time. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you, and uh, thanks for tuning in.